Shalom, where the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, all praise is honor and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Karkadash. Double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Let's hop straight into it. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. Are you guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America? We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. You need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if? Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go! God bless America. So, come on, man. You, you know these people know what's, what's coming, man. All right, second Ezra 15, second Ezra 16, all right, Jacob's trouble, all right, the shutdown of a country, civil war, uh, nation against nation, friend against friend, all right, uh, like Daniel's, the 12th chapter goes into the worst time in history ever is going to take place on planet Earth. And Babylon is going to be turned up. All right? The whole world is going to be turned up. But Babylon is going to be turned. All right? So you get all your movies, The Purge, and all. That. Man. And, and these these elites, they, they want the directors to push this out. They want you guys to get, you know, used to it, get normal to it. But when it happens, it's, it ain't going to be normal, man. Okay? It, you feel that spirit of change coming. You, even if people didn't believe in a higher being or things of that nature, you could feel something in the air, man. You know, just like when you talk about accountants and people that look at certain patterns when it comes to money in the market. Well, there's a spiritual pat pattern that's happening. And when you look at it, you, you know something is is getting ready to fucking happen. Why the fuck? Since I'm talking about numbers, you know, why the fuck will this uh, Mark Zuckerberg build this big-ass fallout shelter for himself? These people know that there is something coming. You already got people fleeing, like rich motherfuckers going into... Other countries getting set, like, something's getting ready to fucking happen. And you'll be stupid if you didn't believe so. But, like most Americans, I ain't gonna say most Americans, most people in the world 
are in fucking La La Land. Right? They're so tied up in the world that they're disconnected from what's actually going on in the world. If you get what I'm saying. They're so they're too involved in the rat race. I gotta live, I gotta work, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta, you know, follow this social construct. But you don't see all the shit that's really happening. And it's right in front of their face. For people to have two fucking eyeballs and two ears, they still can't see or hear what the fuck is going on, man. Because the mass majority of these people on the earth is nothing but fucking sheeple, man. Thus and therefore, there's going to be a lot of slaughter, man. And now over here in the States, everywhere, the slain of the Lord is going to go from one end of the earth to the other. Coming up to the horse's bridle. These are the scriptures we read and everything is coming to fruition. All right, Habakkuk talks about it speaking at the end. All right. For let me give you, let me paint you a vivid picture. The scriptures are speaking like an angry black woman. You you hear that shit? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Ain't no t- turning the volume down on that. So they, they man. Call up me, how about you, man? Can't wait till this place go down. Shalom.